What's up, guys? You know, I was uh, talking to a friend of mine yesterday, and uh, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times we we do things for the wrong reasons. A lot of times we do good things for the wrong reasons. <laughs> you know, and and that's okay. I mean, you're still doing a good thing, but what's What's the reason we're doing good things? Are we doing good things so that people know we're doing good things? Are we doing good things so we can poke our chests out and say, look what I did. Look what I did. I'm a good person. Or are we doing good things because that's what God wants us to do? Are we doing good things to please God? <laughs> Or are we doing good things to please man? You know, because a lot of times, a lot of times we do good things. We do good things for people. But then if we don't get the reaction we want, we don't get the response we want, we actually get upset. <laughs> we get upset. And we'll actually have a negative attitude towards somebody. If we do a good thing for somebody and they don't recognize, we don't get the recognition from them, then sometimes it, it turns around because then we get mad. We get upset. You know, so, so doing that good thing, whatever it may be, and we don't get the recognition and we get our feelings hurt and we get our emotions. You know what? But here's the thing. <clears throat> what did Jesus do? Jesus went around healing people. You know, Jesus healed. Jesus cast out demons. And these men that were on the outside of towns that had been living out there naked and cast out demons from these two, from these men, and uh, there were a ton of them. They were demon filled, a bunch of them. He cast them out, and all the demons of these men went. They they went into the herd of swine, and then the herd of swine. There, there, there was a whole herd of swine, and and so he, at each demon, they went into all these pigs. So there was a ton of demons in these people, and they in these two guys, and the whole herd of swine went and jumped off. Went and jumped violently into the ocean to kill themselves because of the demons. See, the demons were trying so hard to uh, run from Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ torments demons. Demons don't like being around the Spirit. They don't like being around Jesus Christ. It torments them. So Jesus does this for these men. And see, the world, nobody else could do anything about the demons in these men. The only thing was Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ healed these men and did a good thing. And, and then the people of the town <laughs> told Jesus to leave. The people of the town said, you know, said, what? Why in the world did you kill our pigs, Jesus? They missed the miracle. They missed the good thing that Jesus did. But Jesus did that good thing for God and for the, for his chip for God's children, two God's children that were possessed by demons. And that was the that was a good thing. That was a good thing for God. And and the you know what? If we, if most of us, if we would have cast out some demons from these people and we would have tried to help these people with our whole hearts that just genuinely wanted to help them not to get anything in return and then the whole town told us to leave, woo, we'd probably get a little mad. We'd probably get a little emotional about that. We'd probably say, do you, do you not see what I did for you? Man, I've done nothing but try to help you, and you're going to tell me to leave? I imagine that most of us would have not received that, uh, you know, that we would have gotten angry. But Jesus, 
Jesus thing, you know. And Jesus is the example we have to follow up for. Jesus just still loves everybody. Jesus didn't, he just, okay. Jesus walked on, you know. All right, guys. God bless you. You know, that that's the kind of, that's the attitude we got to have. We do good things, but if God tells us to do something, we do that. We know in our heart what God wants us to do, so we do what God wants us to do. And guess what? God will recognize that. God will pat you on the back. When you get to heaven, you go talk to him, God will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. See, if you're doing the right thing, the world's not always going to understand what you're doing, and they're not always going to give you credit where credit is due but God will give you the credit if you're doing it for the right reason if you're doing it for him he sees that and that's the only person we really need to be concerned about be honest with you we need to be concerned about our brothers and sisters but the one that we're supposed to be making proud is God that's our father we got to make our father proud and see, and God in the flesh, His Son, Jesus Christ, He came around here. He wasn't doing things to get the credit from the world. He was doing things for the Father. And that's our example. That's what we follow after. So let's remember that because you know what? That'll keep us from getting our feelings hurt. <laughs> I love you, God. I want to do what you want me to do every day. That doesn't mean... I'm going to get the recognition. That means a lot of times I do good things. I'm going to do the right thing. And no one will know except for God. But guess what? God's smiling when you do that. God bless you. I love y'all.